Well, hello everybody out there and welcome to another random video. I know it's been a while, but yeah, that's just the way it is. So in today's video, I want to talk about probably the biggest mystery or the biggest misunderstanding when it comes to compact cassettes. And it's something that even one of my most favorite YouTubers, Techmon, got wrong. Yeah, Techno, uh, Techmon made a video called cassettes better than you don't remember. So in this video he talked about various different things, things that I also didn't really know before I saw this video. And he also talked about the different kinds of tapes and the different types of cassettes. He said that cassettes have those indication holes on the top that tell the device what type of cassette and therefore what kind of tape it is so that it knows what kind of bias it has to use to record this cassette. And he went on to say that only blank cassettes have those indication holes because pre-recorded cassettes don't need them because they are already recorded and not meant to be re-recorded. So he said that Pre-recorded cassettes don't have those indication holes because the type of tape is only necessary or important for the recording but not for the playback. And that's where he was wrong. You see, the tape selector affects both the quality of the recording as well as the quality of the playback. You see, during recording the tape selector changes the bias, but for the playback, the tape selector changes the equalization. Yeah, and this goes for manual tape selectors as well as automatic tape selectors. Yes, automatic tape selectors also change the equalization depending on what type of cassette you're using. So, um, I recorded some music from the YouTube audio library onto this Type 2 cassette and I'm going to play it back in two different ways. First is the normal way with the automatic tape selector being set to Chrome because it's a Type 2 cassette. And for the second time I'm going to cover those indication holes with some tape thus fooling the deck into thinking that it's a Type 1 cassette. And this is what it sounds like. It sounds different. So you see the thing with the tape selector works kind of similar the way it does with the Dolby noise reduction meaning that you have to play it back with the same that was used for the recording. You know when when you record a cassette with Dolby S noise reduction you also have to play it back with Dolby S noise reduction and not with Dolby B or Dolby C. And that's kind of the same way how it works with the bias and with the equalization. If you record a cassette with normal bias, meaning 120 microseconds, that's the kind of setting that you also have to use when you play it back. And yeah, that's just the way it is. So this raises the question, what about those pre-recorded cassettes that are using chrome tape but don't have the indication holes of a type 2 cassette? Does this mean that those cassettes are being played back with the wrong equalization when you have a cassette deck that is using an automatic tape selector? Well, not really. You see, as it turns out, 
those pre-recorded cassettes, despite the fact that they are using chrome tape, they have been recorded with the same bias as a type 1 ferro tape. And that's why that's the setting that you also have to use when, it, when you play it back. Which is kind of weird because why would they use the same bias for a chrome tape that you would normally use for a ferro tape? I have no idea. But apparently I read in a forum that there are pre-recorded cassettes that are using chrome tape and that do have the indication holes of a type 2 cassette because those cassettes have been recorded with the correct bias of a chrome tape, meaning 70 microseconds instead of 120 microseconds. So yeah, there you go. Most pre-recorded cassettes with chrome tape have been recorded with the same bias as a type 1 ferro tape. That's why they don't have those indication holes. So yeah, that's the way it is. I hope the video was informative. I hope you liked it. Please check out all my other videos. Subscribe to this channel even though I don't like saying that. But yeah, that's the way it is. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.